Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a a superhero. And this week, the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of sound. Okay, so imagine if I had the power of sound, I could hear through walls with super hearing. Okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. First, I need to understand more about how sound actually works. Makes sense, right? You'll have to speak up. I can't hear you. What? Oh, that's right, you're at home. Guess I'm still a long way away from having super hearing. Better get started then. Hmm, now what can I experiment with that makes a sound? Let me think. Of course, a glass of water. Well, maybe more than one glass of water. Hmm, let me think. No, don't worry, I'm not super thirsty. Let me explain. For this, you will need some sheets of paper, a pencil, scissors, tape, a ruler, and some glasses with some water, or even some empty jars. So you're gonna start with an empty glass. And you're gonna pour some water into them from a jug, or a beaker, or a flask. Have a listen to this. Did you hear the difference? Did you hear it make a different pitch? Well, what I've done is I've got different glasses here that actually have different amounts of water in them. And you should hear that they make a different pitch. Have a listen to this. That's cool. And that's because we know that sounds are made by vibrations. And so what you're hearing is the glass vibrating and depending on how much water is in there depends on how much glass can actually vibrate. So this one has less glass that can vibrate meaning it has a lower pitch and this one has more glass and is a higher pitch. And so the water dampens the bottom making only this part of the glass vibrate. And so we hear either a lower or a higher note. So we can make a little water xylophone. Cool. I reckon that's a cool superhero theme tune. Now that's one way that we can make a sound. The other way is with some paper. So if you take some sheets of paper and you roll them up lengthways like this to make a tube. Okay, I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna do five sheets of paper. I'll be back soon. Okay, now you want these tubes to be different lengths. So decide which one's gonna be your longest and your shortest, and then cut them down to length so they are all different lengths. Ta-da! Here are all of my tubes, and I have some little bits that I kept that were cut off that I may use later as a stand. So we're gonna put these onto the table, and we're gonna take the same pencil that we used to tap our glass, and we're gonna tap them onto these tubes. Have a listen to this. Did you hear that? So the vibrations are hitting the inside of the tube and some of them are getting trapped inside. The longer the tube, the more the vibrations bounce into each other before they can get out, which we hear as a lower pitch or a lower note. Now, time for the moment of truth. I need to enlist my mini mate, Nano Nano Girl. Okay, now, Usually, I would have her sit on something, but if I put her in the water, she's gonna to get too soggy, and if I put her on here, she might get hit. So I'm just gonna attach her to my beaker and she can watch my musical extravaganza. You okay then? She looks good. Okay, here we are. Now, for every superhero there is, no matter how small, they need a superhero theme. So, let me make a tune for you, Nano Nano Girl. It goes like this. Nano Girl is small, but she's stronger than them all. She's brave and she's smart. She's kind, bless her heart. It was a good song, right? Yeah? No? What, no? Ah. Luckily, I want to be a superhero, not a music composer. 
I guess I'll just see you guys tomorrow and we'll try to discover more about the secrets of super hearing. Phew, this composing is thirsty work. I need to find a glass of water. Why would I find one of those?